Hi, hello, welcome back to the Bandana Podcast. I wanted to start this episode by telling you guys an embarrassing story, but before we get to that, cue the intro music. This episode is going to be about food safety and... I wanted to make this episode because I learned from my most previous episode that food safety is a public health concern that not many people know about. And I was just thinking about this story that happened to me recently that definitely pertains to it and my personal lack of knowledge of food safety. Before I get into this story, I also want to give a disclaimer that I've been yelling and screaming all day because it was my cousin's birthday and I, my voice sounds raspy, okay? So if I just all of a sudden cough or I I sound like my mouth is really dry, that's probably why. Okay, so I made vegan sugar cookies, which were delicious, by the way. If you want the recipe, I'll try to remember to link it to the podcast description or the description on, the, on YouTube. Anyways... I know that eating raw eggs is bad for you because you can get salmonella from it, and I'm I'm sure everybody knows that. I'm sure that's a pretty widely known food safety related fact. I made the vegan sugar cookies, and if you don't know what vegan means, it's basically where you eat food that is not a byproduct of animals at all, and that includes no eggs, no dairy, and no honey. So these sugar cookies were like butter-free and egg-free. Again, they turned out really delicious. But anyways, because they were vegan and because they were not made with eggs, I saved a little bit of cookie dough aside just for me to freeze and then eat like ice cream. I was fine the first... Well, actually, I was fine. I never encountered a problem at all, but I took some of it out and I ate some of it in front of my mom and she tells me that eating raw cookie dough is still bad even though it's vegan and I ask why of course because I explained to her that there weren't any eggs in it and she tells me raw flour is still unsafe to eat and I knew this but I never it did it just didn't occur to me that raw flour is a food safety issue that not many people know about. Now, I have seen my mom heat treat flour before, and she did explain to me what it's for and why you have to do it, but again, it never occurred to my mind when I was making these cookies that you should heat treat flour, especially if you are planning on eating raw cookie dough. Okay, now you're probably wondering why raw flour is a food safety problem. So my mom explained to me many years ago that raw flour is very capable of having pathogens and all the nasty stuff. And by nasty nasty stuff, I mean pathogens. It can contain pathogens. And she heat treats flour by spreading a few cups of it on a baking sheet and then sticking that in the oven for a little bit. And that's how you heat treat flour. To briefly go back to the story, it did not occur to me that I should have done this, but I also was not planning on eating raw cookie dough as like a post-baking treat. So I didn't do it. I didn't think about it. I didn't do it. I really hate to be that person, but I am here to kind of tell you don't eat raw cookie dough, even if it is vegan with no eggs. However, You can still make an edible cookie dough, and I can just briefly tell you how to do it. So the way my mom does it is she takes a few cups of flour and spreads it all over the baking sheet and uses the oven. I know you can also use the microwave, but I'm not really familiar with how that method works, but I know that you can definitely use an oven. So you put the flour on the baking sheet, stick in the oven at 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm actually not sure how long it's supposed to go, but it really depends on the temperature of the flour, and you want the flour to reach 165 degrees all over and throughout. 
And honestly, bam, simple. It's very easy to do. You just need to take a little bit of time to heat treat your flour if you want to ensure that you're going to have a safe cookie dough eating experience. I will say though that I am reading up on how to do it with the oven and it's saying that in uh, intervals you're supposed to pull it out and briefly mix up the flour so it doesn't stick to the pan which I actually did not know happens when you heat treat flour but I guess that's something you all you guys should know as well. Okay I know you guys are gonna call me lame but like I've only eaten raw cookie dough maybe once in my life and again it's because I heard that it can give you salmonella and I just want to play it safe Again, I know it's lame, but I'm prioritizing myself and my health, and that's what me studying public health is all about. <coughs> oh my goodness, okay. Yeah, I think I need to stop talking. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna end the podcast here. Okay, uh, I hope you learned something from this episode. Don't eat untreated cookie dough, wash your hands, and I will see you next week. Bye!